Hi everybody, this is Peggy. Welcome to Lisa's channel. I'm going to be showing you my collection today, such as it Hi. is, and doing a deck declutter. Uh, Lisa is right sitting opposite me here, about four inches away, and she's going to be helping me, making sure that I don't do anything too particularly stupid. So if you guys want to see Peggy's collection and maybe watch her Clover collection, keep watching. So there's a story. I'll tell it as <laughs> we go. Story, there's always a story. Time. There's a story. I'll tell it as we go. I have a bit of a collection here. I got about 35 or so decks and I'm culling my collection. And I'm sitting directly across from Peggy. And this is good. So she's going to not know where to look, which is going to be kind of fun. I'm not going to know. Yeah, Lisa is like right here. And you guys are over here, so if I, if you're, if you're, if you're, if, if you're interacting with my right ear, it's not intentional. Okay. We're, we're trying to do a new two camera so, thing. We don't know how. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Lisa's like, well, if you're, if you know, if you're gonna declutter, you're doing it on camera, and I'm playing with some new stuff today. Okay. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. Um, okay. So this is this is a really simple, simple story. Lisa collects decks. Sometimes. I use what I collect. <laughs> no, you do. You okay? <laughs> you use what you collect, but sometimes. I well, amass decks. Yeah, people, well, you, you buy decks, people give you decks, creators uh, send you decks hoping that you might review them. Um, you go, and, and so you, you, you do a lot of, you, you know, tra decks find their way in, they find their way back out, and I'm very, very lucky. Sometimes if I think a deck looks cool, I'll say, well, give that to me. And then now I've gotten a bit of a collection because I've got, I've had a turn with some of these decks, I've tried them out, and now I need to fix this thing. So we're going to go through my decks one by one. And I'll decide on what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. And I'm preparing for my heart to break because Peggy's way more she, brutal than I am. I'm brutal. Okay, so we're going to start with three decks that wait, I'm... Wait, because, because I know people are going to ask, and maybe this isn't a good question, but which of, if you're okay talking about it right away, which was your first, first deck for anybody that doesn't know? Okay, my first deck, you, you, you're in charge oh, yeah. of that. My first deck... This, this book was the Dragon Tarot. It's literally falling apart. Lisa, Lisa got me this deck about a bazillion years ago. I'll zoom this in. Here, I'm going to move its yard. bag over here. You can talk. I am 1,000% keeping this deck. It's the very first deck I ever got. Lisa gave me the deck. I love this deck. Even when I'm going through periods where I'm not using the deck that much, I will always, 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 without any shadow of a doubt, get back to this deck. Even with the book falling apart, I will never stop using this deck, so I'm keeping it. There's, I mean, I've talked about this deck occasionally on other videos so i don't think there's a whole lot to discuss beyond that definitely staying so this is like peggy in a deck i just can't and she's not kidding about the book falling apart like it literally like, okay yeah. yes so this is, is so this now the keep basket over here that is the keep basket okay okay now this is going to surprise no one i have a okay it's not gonna it's gonna surprise you but it's not i have a fascination for tiny tiny decks Oh yeah, let me zoom in even I have more. an absolute fascination for tiny, tiny decks. This is, now, I made the mistake of ordering this deck in the winter time, and this is a little micro doll, and I mean micro, look at how tiny these are. Do this you, is a dollhouse deck. <laughs> it's so tiny. This is a micro dollhouse deck. Um, I comparison. will not, under any circumstances, blame the creator. Um, it's a Netsy deck. I got it off of Etsy. Okay, it's like, okay, let me. I'm trying to figure out how to show it in comparison to a. Yeah. So this 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 deck this deck is handmade, and these, basically, I ordered this in the winter time, and because of freezing temperatures, some of the backings popped off. I still don't regret this deck because of its novelty value and Can its novelty. Can you call novel it a deck, or is it more like tarot confetti? <laughs> it's more like tarot confetti, but I think this is just the absolute most awesome thing. So in spite of. And, uh, and again, I am not going to blame the creator. If you're going to order a hand, if you're going to order a handmade Etsy deck like this for novelty purposes, order it um, spring, fall. My mistake was ordering in the winter time, and the glue, and and so the colder temperatures made the glue separate. I just haven't fixed it. I keep it in an envelope, so I'm keeping this. It's I do have to do something with it. Like take it outside of its envelope. I'm going. I'm going to repair this. Or I'll find another source and get and get another one. This and it, it fits in an envelope. I'm definitely keeping it. It can go. As a matter of fact, I thought I'd lost it at one point because it takes up zero space. So novelty purposes. Okay. Over explaining that one is done. What is next? 
This one here. In no particular order. In no order whatsoever. Oh, I guess it's kind of an order because this is the last. The dragon deck was your first ever deck. This is if your you most recent if deck. you saw Lisa's most recent helping you say yes to the deck because. Based on timing, that should be out by then. This is the Cute and Creepy Tarot, and I think I've already explained that I got this one recently because it has all kinds of features that will hopefully help me better retain the meanings, the symbology, the this, the that of, of the decks. And I've already been, I've only had it for a few days now, but I've already been working with it. And it's got this awesome guidebook yeah, like this one. This one was this one was the very first card I got. So basically, I you can color right. You these these are black and white, so you can color right on it if you want to. What I've decided to do is use the blank space here. This is um, basically this is a kind of kind of paper that's almost the same quality as coloring book paper. Well, not coloring book. You can color on it. Yeah. It's so not shiny and it's off. got. It, I don't think it's intentional, but there's blank space, so I can write in my own keywords, contemplate the cards. So you're keeping this one for so sure. So I am keeping. I am. New. This is brand new. I'm keeping this. This is the very first say yes to the deck that I ever bought. I'm definitely keeping this, because ideally, it's going to be a helpful learning tool if nothing else. I don't know if I'll ultimately keep it you for need the long. You a bag for that. I, yeah. Into I'm, the keep basket. Again. I'm probably going to have a bag for that by the time I'm done with this. Okay. But anyway, so that's that's the keep pile. Okay, now we're on to the not quite so obvious about. Let's do three at once. Three, three. We only have room in the camera frame for one. Okay. Okay. So this is a hand me down from me. These are hand me downs hand -me -down from Danny. Now and again, th these are great decks. Um, the reason why I wanted a chance to think about whether I wanted these decks was like, hey, this deck looks really cool. I think I might use it. Well, I didn't end up using it, but it's still a cool deck. I can't use, you know, I this ended up. This one you know you're not going to keep. I'm not, I, you know what? You're these, like already like this is going. The, yeah, this deck is, yeah, this deck is 100% going just because I never put it to good use. I should be, I should be finding it a home where it will get the use it deserves. It's a beautiful. It's on it though, but it it's does beautiful... change the tarot structure a bit, so I could see. Well, it's an oracle in. deck, so. But it's in the structure of the tarot. Except yeah, but. Except for the course and the. Uh, oh, okay. Well, little, <laughs> okay, little Miss Tarot, oh, little Miss Tarot expert, this super noob does not need. <laughs> And does not use <laughs> the right, Oracle right, deck. Right. And I found, there. we're going to go We're gonna go pretty quickly at this point. This is also an Oracle deck. And oh, we should show here. I'll do yeah, Lisa will show. I can't even remember what these cards look like. I mean, and again, let's get back to, I get my wife's hand-me-downs. I, I, I don't, I, I. This I, is such a beautiful I deck. did not, I did not pay for this deck. I don't think you paid for this deck. I paid for this deck. Oh, you paid for this yeah. deck. And I then this deck on Etsy. And then once you'd gotten, and then over it's time, so you just gorgeous. use it. I know, but Maybe over I'll time, you just back. use it less and Are less. Are you getting rid of it? Yes, I'm getting Maybe rid I'll of it. Maybe I'll take it back. And this is what recycling is all about. <laughs> okay, anyway. It, like, like no, it's beautiful. I mean, I, I, every single one of these decks, I, really I wanted like for, it. okay, most of the decks that you gave me, I would never have purchased on my own. But then once I saw them, I'm like, oh, well, they're really cool. Give them to me, and I'll see. If I, you know, I think I might use that deck. Well, I didn't, so I, it needs to find a new home. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to keep um, it because I wasn't using it already, and I'm no. going to let it go. I just, ew, it's so hard to see it go because it's such a beautiful deck. But it will find a good home. That's true. Though. I mean, and this is the thing. Like, I, like where's your to-go pile? My to-go pile that was is the Healers of the Earth Oracle, by the way. We Healers should of name the Earth. These. Healers of the Earth Oracle. <laughs> I just realized. This one is an older one. Oh, I got this at. Um, this was on the trade table at. Um, I'm not sure where you got that from. Uh, Northwest Tarot Symposium. That's where I found Again, it. it it's made a, me think of you. It's a gorgeous deck. This is an oracle. I did enjoy it for a while, yeah. and then I lost interest. Really beautiful guy. Um, Lots of information about all these sacred sites. Yeah. No, it's a good, it's a, it's again, like, I mean, I never took a deck going, oh, well, you, you're getting rid of it, therefore I want it. But it you was don't like, really use oracle decks, do you? No, think? I don't. I, that's what I found. Well, having having these decks, I think I've got a couple of more oracles in here as well, but having these decks made me realize that I just don't use oracle decks. Um, they're pretty. I, this one I did. This one I did use somewhat for a bit. I think you kind and of enjoyed it, flipping to a card and then reading about it, but I don't think you ever used it like as a deck. No, is this okay? Like, yeah, it's just not my thing. It's almost like picking up a good. This magazine. one was aw no, but this one was an awesome one. I did, I did, I did make. I don't know what do you call it. You call it? Yeah, I, I made my best effort, but. <laughs> You made an um, effort to get to know it to see if it was meant for you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. If I had, if I, if I was interested in collecting for the sake of collecting, I'd be keeping that one. But I'm, 
if I want an oracle, if I, if I decide that I'm in the mood for an oracle deck, I can just, you know, hey, honey, I'm going to go through your oracle decks and borrow one today. So, and that puts me in a different category as well, because I have access to this without having to spend any money. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's true. It's just, it's just the fortunate position I'm in. And, you know, and I cannot stress this enough because these are gorgeous decks. They're just not working for me. And it's a, it's a no fault process. Okay, let's go over here. I don't even know half of what oh, you have anymore. Let's do this one. Let's do this one next. Oh, oh, my heart again. Okay, okay. I'll yeah, Lisa's, okay. I'll Lisa's okay. poor little heart is breaking. The five cent tarot. I wanted you to love this because I, I wanted did. to love this. I did. I just wasn't using it. This is a really great deck if you like keyword based decks. I found, I think that's one of the coolest things about it because it's got keywords upright and then keywords. This reversed. one, I really, really enjoyed this deck and I did use it for a while and then I gradually just lost interest. There's a reason for that, which maybe I'll, the reason, there's, a, there's a, not a reason, but there's, there's always a reason. Is there and something you just found you liked better? Or? It, yeah, basically. Well, how, grab it. We can talk there's about no it. it. Oh. There's a category. Oh, a, ca <laughs> oh, a whole category. Okay. For me, I found that this one, the reason I ended up get, handing this one down to you was because I just found that I have okay, over-focused you, on the words. I love you the lent words. The, you but, lent, okay, when we went to Newt's, God, not last year, the year before it now. It been 2019? 2019 or yeah. 2019. Oh my gosh. Time yeah. is weird. We went to the Northwest Tarot Symposium, symposium and I oh, went yeah. with Lisa. And this is the first edition. Um, Lisa had just recently gotten this deck. Edition. And with the keywords on the deck and with what little tiny bit I'm able to retain, I had a great time because it really, it really, really helped. But then as I, as I was using it more, I used it for a while, and then again, I mean, because because I've got my dragons, this is new, so that's not a thing, but no, I'm not keeping it. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> that was I'm not, not keeping it. That one needs a new home. No, it's, and, and I think I can say the exact same thing over most of the decks. I have a um, question for you. So when I decide I'm going to declutter something, I always put it away for a while before officially, like, letting it go so that I can be sure. Are you like, no, I'm good, cutthroat, I'm um, ready to go? Okay, okay. I, the, the five cent tarot, I used it for a few, I used it for like three or four months after, that's a good example. I, I, used the five, I used the five cent tarot, I used the five cent tarot for a few months off and on, less as time went by, after newts. So that was 2019, I haven't used it in over a year. I'm not keeping anything that's over a year old because I don't necessarily collect. That's not actually what I meant though. What I meant was is that when I decide to rehome a deck, I literally put it in a purgatory. No, door. I don't have a. You're like, Basically, oh, I can just go. It's, it's all okay. Go. Okay, I've got a very small collection, so keeping track, I can have a, I can have a, I can have an intellectual purgatory already without having to move things out of. A, gotcha. Out of, I, I'm always scared. I'm gonna let go of things. Too no, quickly, there, so I, I'm, I think I have a few that I'm still maybe on, but most of them. Yeah, maybe we should have put the camera like right there. Anyway, I still have a few that I'm maybe on, but I don't know yet. I couldn't put it there because we have another camera. Okay. Here. Oh no! What is the decision on this one? I can I am bated breath. I have been keeping this deck because it's cool, and honestly, I think I've only ever used it twice because it's a very. When you when you when it's you very the book is amazing. When you start reading the book, I I okay. I'm trying. This is a tear of Nostradamus, by the way. Oh, I hate when they do this in the box. Give us one I, tray. Okay, I just got. I just got the cute and creepy tarot because it's like I need to actually understand the deck without having to look up, without having to look up every single card every single time, which I don't mind doing. I really don't mind doing it, and I have no problem with the idea of looking up the card every single time forever. I would just like to have a few basic things that I'm just simply not retaining. If you want to see us roast, well, I cannot. Roast this deck. Oh, Peggy right, and I did a there was a video. Anyway, yeah. so you can, I there will, are. Anyway, I will link it. Sorry. I will link the video. Oh, you're going to link that one. I will link the video of us actually doing the walkthrough. Um, and, and you roasting. And you did, roasting I it. I did end up anyway, roasting it a little bit. Anyway, this, this to, for me, it's a cool, it's a, there's, there's so many things about this deck that are cool, but I will never be able to use this deck without the book, which is my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is, is that the, for the book to be a, an, an accessory, not a necessity. So this one's going bye-bye. Okay, next. How many have you gotten rid of so far? Uh, one, two, three, five. Five have gone, and how many have you kept so far? One, two, three, well, and a quarter if you count three this little, little guy. Three in the little tiny micro deck. Okay, okay. The, micro, the micro deck, I, 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 I'm probably going to get rid of that if slash when I can find a better iteration of it. Okay, this one. The Universal Transparent 
Oh, this Which one does it say? Transparent, Transparent Universal Tarot. This is the Low Scarabeo Transparent Tarot deck. This one is just too awesome to give away. <laughs> it is literally. I I do not. Okay, this this I do collect occasionally. Anyway, this is going to be my nod. This is not my nod. Oh, it's upside down. I may or may not get rid of this one down the road. Um, I only use it when I'm messing around for fun. I don't try too hard with this deck um, because there's. Um, there are, I, I think there are a few fundamental issues with the deck, like um, the idea behind this deck is you lay out your card and then, okay, so that's your first, that's the first, um, you go, you go past to, oh, she's going to make me turn, you go past to present, right? What are you doing? You're showing them upside down. Oh, okay. You go past to present, but then again, if you get to, if you get to a card that's in the same spot, then you're covering it up. Um, so... I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool concept. I think it does. I do. I'm not. I do know that it has usability issues, but it's just too cool to get rid of just yet. So I'm going to keep it, and I don't really use it only when I'm messing. So it's fun it, and yeah. different. It's fun and different, and I don't mind. I don't mind having a few decks that I'm not going to use. It's just that I realize that most of my decks I'm not using for various reasons. Okay. Oh, this is such a good learning deck. You can open it up or just stare this at it. She's going to stare at it. I really, really, really genuinely think this is a really great beginner deck. If you want to work with a keyword method, um, it's kind of neat. It doesn't, I mean, it's your deck. You talked about it. I'm not it, but, keeping it. Oh, okay. I'm not keeping it. You know what? It's, an, it's a fully keyword-based deck with a separate Oracle deck on the back. I, for me... Is it too many words again? Too many words and nothing else. It's only the words. Yeah, it's, I would see this, I'm not see gonna, this more as like a tarot flashcard set. I found that for what I need to learn and the way that I do best with learning things, that it was useless for me. Yeah, I'm going to put it um, in my like tarot. It was a great idea. If, if, okay, if I'm just doing, if I'm just doing because I wanted, I did use it. I keep forgetting to look up. Sorry about the ear, guys. I'll, I'll put a little you makeup on it or something next time. No makeup and you have an adorable ear. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, it just doesn't work with the way I learn. There's nothing for me to retain. It's just a bunch of work. Oh, just a bunch of. The, sorry, guys. This is called the twofold tarot. Okay, let's go back to this one though. Like this one here. This one here has images. Has it has elements about it that make it memorable. make sense to me. That make that make it memorable. Memorable. Oh, you know what? Put it Memor in your I just said memorable. Memor memorable. I couldn't say memorable. I I know what it is, but I can't say it. It's like, anyway, this is going. Um, it is a great beginner deck, but it doesn't work for me. And this deck, when you flip it over, you flip it over and look at the one side and it's a tarot deck. You flip it over and look at the back side, it's an oracle deck. So it's useful. It's just, this deck, this deck will reinforce me not learning the actual cards rather than helping. It yeah, just, it just doesn't, fair. other people well, are more literal learners and it might really help them, but it won't help me. It's, I, I actually found that it was making things worse. Okay. That one. Okay, let's talk about the Universal Fantasy. So this was your freebie at, uh, at Newt's. Net Newt's, right? Yeah, they yeah, had we got this. for registrants. I actually, okay, neither one of my kids are really into tarot, but they think it's kind of cute and funny. And Actually, John's kind of into tarot. This artwork is actually really pretty, but it's kind of busy, I would say. I really love the artwork. Um, I mostly got them. I mentioned my kids for this a reason. Like a Marvel character. I mentioned the boys for a reason because when, because when we were at Newt's, the, they had a trade table and they had two different decks that were really, really um, fantasy art type, which both of the boys are into, two one degree or another. So that, I, that was mostly my interest was to see if one of the boys would want this deck. I kept it because the art's really cool, but I don't personally see a lot of... Um, like when I look at like uh, the, th the three of coins in this deck, I don't see how it relates to the three of coins as a tarot card. I get you. Yeah. So again, really cool art, which is why I kept it. It's almost it. like it's so busy that I think especially as a beginner, it might be harder to I don't see, hone in on like any of the symbology. Whoa. Well, okay. Like see, thing. I don't really see it as busy. I really like this kind or of detailed, art. detailed. Not busy. Detailed. Detailed. I it's think kind of like, it's almost like, like here's the three of swords, but it's three swords in a river as opposed to. It was a river of blood. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cool. okay, I get it. I guess some of the cards are going to have just just that it's a really cool art deck for people that are into really cool fantasy art. 
but I, except for, except for the novelty purpose of, I, I've, I've, I've shown it off a couple of times going, oh, this stick's got really cool fantasy art, and I've never actually ended up using it, not once. Yeah. Okay. I've never actually, it's like. So this one's going to? Oh my gosh, That one's going to. Ooh, being pretty cutthroat here. Well, I got four decks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Don't there worry. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's give Lisa. Throw Lisa a bone. Throw me something you're keeping. Throw Lisa a bone. Okay, I am keeping. I'm not keeping that. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's spoiler see. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Okay. Oh, what's in this one? Oh, okay. I'm having to dig to find what you There. Doing. Open you that one. Threw it on the ground or threw it on the table. Oh, this is in one of your new little micro bags. Yeah. Oh, that was your I actually thing. made a bag for that one, so I'm keeping it. Oh, I got you this one. You got me that one. Oh, no, you got yourself this one. This is Wait, which one. one was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. I was thinking of the other one. Okay. okay. So this is a mini. Do you have a, oh, here, here's the um, creepy and cute card, just so you guys can see yeah. the comparison. Yeah, I sizing. love mini decks. And so whether or not I end up, oh, um, this, this was. Is the, this is the uh, vintage Rider Waite Smith from Make Playing Cards. That Robin of Toastal Tarot told you about. Told me about. Look at the backs, they're so pretty. So I got this deck at Robin's suggestion. It is adorable. Um, I can't really use it. Oh, okay. I can use it because I... Is this I've, your only classic? Right mm -hmm, away, it's my only classic, I think. Oh, no. You've got one more. Yeah. So I've got what? I've got... Now I've got two books for sure. I can't use it without books because I'm still not at that stage yet. I do know what some of the cards are. I've, I know what some of the cards are. And as Lisa likes to remind me, I know more than I think. But I don't mind. This is a really cool deck. I like the small size. I like, I, this is small enough for me to just tuck in my pocket and walk away. Um, take it anywhere. And it's a so classic. It's a classic, which is what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to pull out a classic deck. And I again, the bag match. You, you did such a good job. Okay. Well, thanks on that. This is, well, this is actually too small to hold the, most of the to most yeah. of the mini decks, but that one's a little shorter yeah. than. Yeah, because um, it doesn't hold your. Um, Gilded Tarot Mini, right? Doesn't hold my Gilded Tarot, no. It's too big, it's too, too big for that. All right. Let's see. Is this my Gilded? This gil is staying. Okay. There's my Gilded this Tarot. This one I got you. You got me that one. That one is staying. This is the, um, this is staying? Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I've basically, the mini decks, I can grab them and use them wherever. And because the books that I've got are actually like the smaller pocket style books, I can use them wherever. You need a, um, a book, like a guidebook that you can use with these more classic decks, I feel like. Because um, you've got your creepy and cute guidebook and your dragon tarot guidebook, but your dragon tarot kind of goes its own way. It does. You, you can borrow my kitchen table tarot. I lent it to you before. Oh, you messed up your cloth. Um, kitchen table I tarot would a, go really good with I these. had a book, and I don't see I don't see it here, so maybe I did set it. Maybe I'm... Um, I lent it to you, but I think I may have taken it back for a video. <gasps> you took it back? You can have the kitchen you table tarot You take backsies? Back. I did. Oh, my gosh. Did. She took... Well, she I didn't took give it, it to anyway, you. Anyway, so this is the Gilded Tarot. This, and look, but I don't oh, know if you can tell. Some of your cards are... But this has got... Um, a, this has got some fantasy art in it. It's got a fantasy art, but, but it's it more the Yes, imagery. so I really like this yeah. one. It's I'm keeping it. Chiro decks. This is a Chiro Marchetti deck. Oh, is it? Yep. His decks are really, really great for making yep. the classic feel really beautiful and like kind of um, fantasy. So I'm keeping that deck. Yeah, yeah, another keep. Okay. I'm good. keeping that deck, and yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, there's a. I'm gonna go straight to a deck that I've been using a lot. Oh, oh yeah. So here's another one of your classic. Um, I gotta move my. This you would love this deck. This is staying. Why do right? I have this bag? Um, what was wrong with it? I, just, <laughs> I, was, I gave it to you for some reason. I can't remember why. Oh, uh, it was one of your used bags. This guy, I'm in love with this guy. And it really has helped a lot because... This is Practical Tarot Wisdom, by the way. It's this safe. is why I this is why I gave you back your book, because I was using this one. Instead of a book, that's right. Instead of a book. This deck has a short description on every single card. So you can use it no matter what your level as long as no matter what your level, you can basically use it right out of the box and get clear descriptions. So I've been practicing with this one a lot um, so that I could like, you know, read the description, look at the picture. Associate the picture with the meaning. Yeah. 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 And, and I think, and I it definitely, this, I will say that this has probably helped me more than any other deck, except for maybe my dragons. Because my dragons were like, that was the only deck I had for the longest time. So of course you either learn it or you don't, because that's the only thing you got. Um, so yeah, this was doing this was doing really really well. 
So I'm keeping that one. And this is slightly smaller than um, a standard tarot size. Like if you look at, here's the creepy and cute again. It's like a little bit more. Yeah, than well, size. and I have smaller. I, you do I have smaller hands than me. We, yeah. We discussed this recently. Yeah, you got big old meaty man hands. I do not have big old meaty man hands. That's so rude. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do have big so, hands though. So yeah, I like this deck a lot um, because I can. I've used it a lot. I still use it. I'll keep that deck. This one, this one, I already know I'm going to keep it because of my only Lenorm only Lenormand deck. I don't really use it a lot. I'm not sure if I might end up rehoming it down the road. It's very much your style as far as like a Lenormand goes, and it's really beautiful. I know, but I might not keep it because I'm making a big mess over here. Well, look at the whip card, babe. Huh? Well, that one's cute. <laughs> Nothing like a pervy moment just to break up the day. Um, no, I don't have any other. I don't think I have any other Lenormand over here. So I'm definitely keeping that one because. Do you have the extra card shuffled in? I probably do. I, maybe I didn't until you started messing with them. Okay. Well, Does this one even have the extra yeah, card? Yeah, there's an extra. Okay. Anyway, so that one I'm definitely keeping because it's my only Lenormand deck. Um, and if I ever want to practice with Lenorm Lenormand or work with it, I've. Beyond messing around once this is in a the while. One you used at Newt's for just I use that one at Newt's as well, yeah. yeah. I can't even remember what's in it. This does not bode well for this deck. This does not bode well for this deck. I. Oh, yeah, that's the mini Tarot uh, Alma. Tarot Al Portal de Alma. I... Alma. How did I end up with that? Okay, the middle of the screen is here. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so I have this deck. It came with it came. a little mini yes. to color in, but the images are so tiny, there was no chance I was going to color it. It was just oh, like a freebie bonus. That I remember this deck. conversation because you and I had talked about whether or not I might want to. I might keep this deck for a while because you are doing a Tarot with Training Wheels course. Yes. And I can write keywords. We had talked about that a while ago that because of the cardstock that this, this is just a little kitschy add-on to a deck that you already got and that if I want to write in my own keywords that this might be the deck to do it with. Yeah. Does so, that mean you're going to watch my Tarot with Training Wheels? I've already watched it. You watched my first... She's confused. I am confused. I didn't know you'd watched any of the episodes. We're filming this one. I've just launched only the first episode, by the way. Yeah, I don't think I... No, I didn't, watch the whole, I didn't watch the whole thing. It just basically tells you to get ready. Yeah, no, I know exactly what it says. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep this deck for the long term, but because of your new course, this is actually the perfect deck for me to have for right now so that I can follow along. So I think I am going to keep it. And follow along with my course? Yeah, well... Aww. I'm going to... I, of course I'm going to follow along with your course. Oh, she's sitting, <laughs> there, she's sitting there going, aww. Well, you don't even live with me. You don't have to watch my videos. I, I film videos with you. Like, <laughs> no. Anyway, anyway okay. so now unless some deck that I'm not thinking of, I kind of forgot what was even in that, and I just made that little thing for it like less than a week ago. It's just a little um, bit. Unless, unless a better cardstock idea rears its head at me, I'm probably going to keep that one for now to do your course, and then once the course is done, f decide whether or not it has future usability for me. It's not... If it wasn't for your course, I don't think I would keep it. Okay. You're like, well, she's keeping it. Okay, the Wanderlight. This is a tiny deck. I like tiny decks. I don't know where I'm holding things. Let Lisa have it. Lisa's like getting ready to yank this out because of my I'm hand because I'm doing I'm the, it wrong. I'm the Vanna White in this situation. This is the mini of the, um, I forget what the full size of this was called. I never had the full size. Wanderlight. I, I ordered the mini because I knew if I didn't like it, Peggy would probably use it. This does follow classic, but it's got a bunch of extra cards for the planets and a bunch of other stuff I that think you could. You're going to let it go, aren't you? I'm going to keep the deck. Oh, really? Are you going to take out all the extra I'm going to keep the deck because I really like the size. <laughs> I No, I mean, you there's... You have a thing I for have, mini decks. That's I, like yeah, yeah. Thing. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with collecting decks. I already own the deck. I didn't even have to pay for the deck. That's true. And because of its size, I don't have to waste a lot of time storing the deck. Or space. Or right. space. But I think what I'm going to do is sit down with you to make sure I'm not screwing something up and get rid of all the extra cards. That makes sense. Okay. Because I've tried to use this deck... And I've never, I've been too lazy to take the extra cards out. So whenever I think about trying to use the deck, I, it just doesn't work. Okay. So I'm going to keep the deck. 
I might get rid of it on my next call, but we'll see. Okay, okay. where are we right now? The, okay, let's finish my tiny decks because I like the tiny decks. I do like them a lot, but, okay, this is the Adora Bissell and it's an Oracle deck. I don't use it. She keeps, the middle is here. She's saying as she pushes things wrong. We should have put a big X there. By the way, what, like the cloth? I had, I'm okay, she's gonna make herself I'm a... cheating because I had, I'm cheating because I just put the fabric down. I haven't actually made the reading cloth out of it yet, but, but this I've got is toilet paper, toilet paper and, and she the has outhouses, outhouses as the backing. Go it's gonna be it. great. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm not keeping it. Yeah, I didn't think you were gonna keep I, it, but it's really cute. I think, I think Oracle decks are adorable, but I have, not one have I ever gotten that I've used more than two or three times. This would pair so well with your cute and creepy, though. It would, but I don't... You don't pair decks, though. I don't... I've never... I've never gotten into the habit. Yeah. It's cute. It is adorable. Adorabissel. It's an adorable <laughs> deck, but... Oh. Yeah, I found myself... It did its time with me. It didn't get enough attention. It's time to move That's it along. That's true. I had the same experience, which is how you ended up with it, so I can't yeah. judge. Okay. okay. What's this so one? So this is a going cart? A going deck? That is going... Okay, put it that in is going. Box. Well, I'm just going to drop it back in the bag for now, so everything stays together because it doesn't have a box. Okay, okay. Next. Where are we next? Next. This is probably. I, I hope this isn't too painful for people. Oh yeah. Okay. This is also we a love collection video. This is Art Nouveau. Oh yeah. This is another one of your little minis. Do you want me to go back to stuff that I'm getting rid of so that it doesn't get too do painful it. when I get back to no, calling it's okay. again? No, You can do it in any order you want. It's I'm okay. keeping that one. This was the first deck of this size that you ever found, and you yes. found this one um, at a shop in. One of the vendors at Newt's. I think it's, I think so. Yeah, I remember. I don't think I even really realized that decks could be this small until then. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this one again. Um, I have used it. I do still use it occasionally. So, because I because that one and the Gilded and the... Um, that one and the Gilded are the two that are the exact same size. Yeah, and, and the... Um, what was the name of this one again? The Vintage you, Mini. The Vintage Mini. She's talking about this one. The, the Vintage Mini I haven't really used yet. A lot. Oh, yeah, this is I've, the, I've used it a few. I've used it a few times, but I have to look called, everything up. So. This is called the Tarot Art, no, Art Nouveau Mini, and it has a little white book. I'm keeping. This one is actually the only mini I know of that has a little white book. Actually, I just realized. I think that was one of the reasons Most why the I grabbed it at the time. Most don't have a book. Yeah, I think that was one of the reasons why I got it. Is it, but, is it a book in English? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. I don't think I. I don't think I ever really um, took a close look at the book. Yeah, because I just realized, because the Gilded Tarot Mini, which is the same, oh, actually, this oh, is yes. a little bit bigger than it's, the Gilded. It's, yeah, it's, it's got like four or five, four languages, and each language gets eight pages. Okay, so you get a few pages. So anyway. it's not insanely. It is just a smidge, this deck is just a smidge bigger than the Gilded. Yeah, so like, there's like the Fool's uh, Strangeness, Infantilism, Infantism, no Infantilism, Detachment from Earthly Worries. They're very, they're very basic to the point. The good news is, is that I do, do know I do know enough about tarot now that when I see those short ones, it's really been so that's still them. helpful. Yeah, but these I'm aren't exactly the same size. I thought they were, but no, Gildan's a bit smaller. Okay, so mini deck okay. keeping. Okay, next. You guys want to know how cheap I am? The bags that I make for myself, the bags that I have for myself are usually bags that had something wrong with them. Little rejects. <laughs> Rejects was like, oh my god, the, the you know, well the one bag, the, the one, this bag here, I'll do this, I'll do this decks next. This bag here, I was sewing, I was top stitching and the thread ran out. <laughs> it's like, no damn, I stitching. just, and I couldn't, and, and I, I didn't, her, I was like, but, Keep it for yeah, but I didn't notice until the bag was finished. So oh. I've got it half stitched, and then the thread runs out, and for, I, well not half, three quarters, thread ran out, and for some reason I didn't notice until I had the bag put together. So it's like, darn, okay, tower takeover. I'm not giving this up over my dead body. <laughs> it does have a book. It does have a It does book. have a book. This is literally a deck of towers. I think I We did a walk through this too, we, which I will link in the cards. Remember when we got this one we thought it was we thought this was gonna be mostly a novelty Just deck. For fun, yeah. And uh, you know it, it got, actually the meaning of the book. It got a, really good. Yeah, it got a decent amount of attention. Lots of people bought it. We saw a few other reviews as well. It turns out that it's a really readable deck and the, um, the, when you go through the guidebook, the card meanings in the book actually make sense from a, um, uh, what, did, what, what, what word would we, like from a shadow perspective, from a... Yeah, a lot of these are basically like how each one of these cards, how yeah, you could be so, experiencing a tower. Yeah. It'd be a really great clarifier, I think we decided for, if you pull a tower. Yeah, if you're so, having a tower experience, what, yeah, it, was, it had a lot. Like, yeah, there's, it's actually I was really, really cool. surprised at how usable the deck was. was it was too. awesome. This is definitely and I'm, it. Yeah, I still do use that, I still use that deck. Um, 
Yeah, you've done actual readings for yourself a couple of times in this deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does, and it does really good reading, and it's not, it's not Are you all. Are saying that you're living in a tower experience right now? Be careful with your. Fifteen, 15 years of marriage, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like this deck. And I really like the deck. It's usable. I'm still using it occasionally. I'm just, I'm not using it like full time. Obviously, you can, if if you're you know you can uh, if I'm only gonna if I'm gonna use it full time, then I can get rid of everything else. But anyway, I think this deck is awesome. I was really surprised at how has that it was that it's it's far more than just a novelty deck, which is amazing. So I like it. Are these the? Um, Those are the extra cards. From extra the cards. Right? Okay, let's get them over there. That sits there. Okay, next. Oh. This that is one's I going. Got you. <gasps> it's Rude, going. but it was a present. I know, but I've got enough other decks with keywords that I don't use it anymore. This is the quick and easy tarot. If you've never seen this, it's got like a little de definitions, upright and reverse. Yep. Um. So it but, is. Oh, you've got like spread cards shuffled in. And oh. The only one. Yeah. I think that was me messing around when so I was showing one, somebody the this deck. This one honestly just competes with your practical tarot wisdom, which yes, you like it does. Better. Yeah. Okay, I get you. If I was doing a this or that, I would have kept the other one I, too. Yeah, so if it. I'm going to, I mean, if every single, if, you know, like I've got a lot of decks with keywords on them and at a certain point another it's like, oh, deck. another deck with key. This was great. I used it. This was, this is a great deck. And you I did use it a bunch. Oh, yeah. I did. I used it for a while. I think you got me, the, I think you, you picked this one up for me. I did. But I then, picked up practical wisdom but for after. Me. Once I got Practical Wisdom, I stopped using that one. I just wasn't using it anymore. Oh, I got them in the other way around, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah, this was second, which is why, because it ended up being kind of neglected because you always went back to that one, I think. I thought this oh, one maybe came... maybe you're right. Maybe I did get you this one first. They came very... Okay, one came very close to the other. Yeah. They were very... So we. I ended up getting them both within the same six-week period, let's say. Yeah. And I just ended up not using this one. And don't forget, oh, this right. one was a lot easier. This one was a lot easier yeah, for me to physically to handle for shuffling and whatnot, so... Gotcha. That okay. one's going. I love you, and I appreciate the gift. It's a great deck. If you're learn, if you're if you're still learning, my feelings are not hurt. It's better okay. to rehome things you're not using. This is another oracle deck, so um, it's not a lot to say. I about just had it. to look at the box and go, what what's that one again? <laughs> yeah, that one's going. You, you only took this because I was decluttering it because it has great art. I like the it's art. It's got great art. I find it to be a little bit shadowy. Like the keywords tend to lean a little too shadowy, and that's almost at like the time. All it is. At the time that you gave me this deck was pretty much around the same time that this you. This is the um, Arthur Rack Oracle. Sorry, I chose. Yeah. We're not saying. You had given me, um, and again, like I said, most of my decks were hand-me-downs from Lisa, so I have no regrets here. Um, but you I'm, didn't use Oracle. I'm in it. Well, yeah, and I'm in a rather, I'm in a rather I'm unique. Like I, I mean, a lot of people get. Oh, I spent, I spent so much money. I'm feeling guilty. This, guilty that. I'm not sure what words to use because I don't, I, I don't want to say crap that just isn't true. But a lot of these decks were hand-me-downs from Lisa that she already got her fair value out of. That's true. Um, yeah, but I just realized, I, I just, basically, after Stephen moved out, we rearranged a bunch of stuff. And in doing so, I was like, oh, I need to get all these, collect all my decks. Now that now that we've got all this stuff rearranged, I can collect all my decks and put them in one spot. And it's like, oh, I don't use any of those. So what am I going to do? So here we are. Anyway, okay, this one, I'm 1,000% keeping. Yeah, I would, I would this actually This is a novelty let, deck. I wouldn't let you get rid of this because this is awesome. It is literally like, like. It's, it's, it is these. Standard tarot. Giant brighter weight. So this is a classic. Well, here is my. That's your smallest classic. Oops, oh my I'm gosh, trying these to... are so satisfying to hold. But look at this. Look at this. Here's here's oh, the. This card got stuck in the box a bit. Here's the difference right here. There's. Hey, actually, this also has really quick. Sorry, I'm gonna have to zoom this out. But this actually has a pretty decent little white book as well, which is much larger than you normally get because there's more. Okay, space. there's one card. There, there's there's the giant brighter weight. And there is the your vintage mini. Vintage. Well, just yeah, turn them over because they both have the the look. Yeah. So I just I just has to I have to have I that. I really like this actually because you can see the line work so clearly. So if you're studying, this is actually useful. I would if you were going to ever get rid well, of this, I would just put it on my shelf. Well, even just look at this. I mean, you could I can hold it up and see it from the camera that's way over there. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. I seriously doubt that I will ever use this deck. That I will ever try to use this deck. We well, now we did try. We did we did do a yeah, couple. We did do two or three readings on, on it, just kind of messing around. It's just it's really satisfying to look at if you want to be able to again see all the tiny little details, things you might not have ever noticed. I did pay for that deck. Big. That is a deck that I did pay for yeah, myself. Bought I bought this one. I just I the novelty of it. Um, and again, like I said, it's just giant. I love it. And again. 
for all the decks that I do have, I've actually paid for a this surprisingly small number of them. That's true. This but, is one I won't let leave the house, though, because it's just such a useful... I hate tuck boxes with a cushion. You need to let i got to make a bigger away. bag for that, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so you're just throwing my stuff around. Anyway... I can't get it back in the box. And we have take, limited you take batteries. them out of the back. You take them out of the back. You can't put them in the front. Oh, you can put them in the middle. I see. Okay. Put them in the oh, middle. All right. Take them from the back. Put them in the middle. Fine. Tuck box tricks with Peggy. I hate yeah, tuck Yeah, well. Okay. So that, and again, no regrets. It's a novelty deck. I'm going to keep it. The Cagliostro. This is, this is out of uh, I'm getting rid of it. It's well, all, you I'll know what? I only I will take care of finding it a loving home because this is a rare and out of print deck. I think that, okay, there was a lot about it that I liked. It's very much But it's very Marseille. Marseille, yeah, however like, people want to Yeah, it's it's a It's a really slightly unique, different it's, it's a it's, well Marseille is a different system. Marseille. Marseille, Marseille, whatever. Actually, I don't know what's correct. I shouldn't correct you cuz I literally have no idea. I've heard both I've and heard both yeah. Too. It's, this is really, really an interesting little deck. It feels... But um, I don't know anything about the Marseille. I just kept that because it's awesome. It's just different. Because it's, it's like, oh, a, if I ever want to learn Marseille, then... then if, but it's also not. If I ever want to learn... It's kind of got a playing card feel. And, and that's like fine. A, it's, it's like a mashup of a bunch of different decks. It's kind of what it And it's like. just full of symbology. There's tons um, of stuff, yeah. And there's keywords and there's... There's also, yeah, there's there's keywords, there's symbols, there's numbers, there's the, there's the, um, playing, card the playing card association. deck association. It's all there. Yeah. And I have never used it. I did a few readings with it, but then I realized that, oh, it's a slightly different system and... Off to a new home it will go. Off to a new home it will go. All right. It's a cool deck. I it is a really... It off to a new home. It is you. a really cool deck, but it's kind of wasted on me. So... Finding in a new finding in a new home is just the smart thing to do. Okay. Well, oh, this guy. This guy, the tiny universal weight tarot. Obviously, I'm keeping it. Very pretentious. And I'm keeping the world's tiniest tarot deck. Those guys are super tiny. Um, These are just your little bitty guys. They're little bitty guys. I'm keeping I'm them because that's where. I'm not them out. They're tiny. They're little. They're I'm keeping little. them because that's what I think is cool. Like, compared to the Practical Tarot Wisdom. There you go. They're, Which they're compared little. to this. <laughs> like, well, let's zoom out. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite I'm a, keeping them. I'm keeping them. And again... he has a thing for decks of unusual size. I like... Size. Yeah. I, well, like, I've got no qualms about keeping a couple of cool decks. I bought both of those decks myself, too. You did. Okay. This one. Ah, this one. I believe. If it's the one I think it is. I think I'm keeping it. I believe. Ah! Why did I have it in that? Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, of course you're keeping this. Of course I'm keeping that one. This. That is a custom deck made for us by the lovely yes, Peekaboo this Rose. Yes, is the Bitmoji Lenormand. And so it's Peggy in the cards. Oh, my God, it's so yeah. cute. Um, so with this Okay, card, and you know you what? I'm a liar. Other... Yeah, I'm just, I was just gonna thinking say... about that now. Where is that other Lenormand deck? Okay, bug. now. I'm getting rid of this one. Are you going to get rid of Under the Roses? Okay. I'm going to get rid of Under the Roses because, because... you have this, and you don't really read I, Lenormand, but this way you have one if you want to work with it. I enjoy you. Lenormand, but I think that we've... I think that I've only ever sat down and done one or two readings with, and, me with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love... So the Clock the Tower of Lenormand <laughs> is gone. This is so freaking cute. It's a very cute deck. Okay. And everything's numbered. You need to put that in one of your new um, pocket pouches, like a mini or something, or micro. Or I'll figure it out. I'm taking, I'm not going to, I got to, I have to put it in something. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, this was. They are adorable, but no. This was an impulse no. purchase of mine. These are the story dice. I so thought they were, I thought they were cute, and I wanted to check them out. They're kind of fun. You just like, oh, let's zoom out so that it's not so close to the camera here. But you just like roll, and based on what you get, it's, oh, wow, that doesn't show up at all on the toilet paper thingy. Um, oh, yeah, here, just, 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 here. You there you go. Basically have i'll zoom us back in you have different images you could use them like an oracle right like oh what does the cyclone mean or the sad face or the yeah. roller skate or the alien I, and i basically i thought it was a cool concept but i couldn't you asked bothered. yeah and i said oh hey let me have those i'll check them out and then i just ended up putting them with everything else and just not yeah this is not something i would have ever kept on my own so it's got to go okay okay it goes so uh it's going <laughs> Isn't that the 80s tarot? No, it's not the 80s tarot. Which one is this? Um, I'm spacing on the name. Oh, shoot. 
I did a whole walkthrough. This okay, so if cool. anybody remembers what this one's called. This one has really great keywords. It, I did a comparison of this with the Osho Zantero. I will put a link to it down below because I'm having a brain fart. I but. cannot for the life of me remember why oh, I even... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot remember why I wanted to keep this one at all. This was actually... I have no... It's like, why I did I even want... Keywords. It had single keywords. Keywords. We were... Yes, because you had... Because I... And, and it's a really cool deck and it has kind of like this kitschy Until sort of I... Until I got all this stuff out, I forgot that I even had this deck and I've never once tried to use it. It's... I love this. one of my favorite if, cards of all time, by the way. If like this is something that you're into... If you like this type of art, go for it. But I just, um, except for the keyword, the rest of the deck is just confusing to me. It's really um, got this very like full art style where there's yeah. a lot going on. I, I really enjoyed playing with this and I did work with it for a bit. This was actually sent to me as a gift a long time ago. After my first day as to the deck where I featured it, I think, somebody sent it to me because I had picked something else and then this ended up coming into my collection that yeah, way. And then see, I was decluttering it and then you ended up with it. I just don't think, I mean... It's a little bit out there, especially if you're just learning. I work. think that I think that um, I think from I think that from an artistic perspective, look at the okay, look at the deck. The, I got the cute and creepy because the art. I wish I could remember the name. I I, I got the cute and creepy because the art like kind of like resonates in a way that I'll, that I'll that I'll remember more. If yeah. the art resonates, then obviously there's nothing wrong with this deck. It just doesn't work for me. I think it's really cool. It's kind of sad to yeah. see it go. Okay. It's very yeah. It's got a lot of really bright stuff happening. Okay. okay. Ah, this, this is, is this is this is yeah. <laughs> it's a classic. Are you keeping it? Yes. Because it's it's little, right? So I'm keeping We're it. Learning that the criteria is that if it's little, you'll actually. Keep I'm it. not sure that I'm keeping that one. Wait, this is like I think it's called the tarot. Um, this it's got a name. I forget though. This has this this is available at like Barnes and Noble. Yeah, it's like <laughs> one of those little kits. Oh, it's got it's a one name. of those kits. This was Danny's first deck, which is why it's so memorable to me. I had my first deck. One, one, of, one of my first decks way back looked a lot like this. I'm not That's sure. I haven't everybody. decided yet whether I'm going to keep this one. Um, I do think that once you get to know the tarot, these are actually some really cute. But I think images. once, but here's the thing. I think once I get to know the tarot, I've got three other, other yeah. three other smaller decks that I'm going to use. Do you I've like got, this art style? I've got these two for the purposes the, of being tiny decks. Yeah. I don't think I'll use that because the size caught my attention, but it's the so cards cute. are square. Yeah, it's cute. And and when you I see the next, it. when you see the next yeah. deck, I'm going. I don't know that I'm. The next one's better, I think. Yeah, I think the kit decks go. This is this is the next kit deck. This one's actually a little bit bigger. That is the Everyday Tarot. That's a great one. Also, it's got a better book. Let me see the cards. This this is actually shaped like cards. Those are square. These are these are square. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get it back in the box. So you, oh, I know why. Because the book doesn't actually go in. But I will be. Yeah, this deck, honey, is has only is still sealed at the bottom that is a fantastic mini deck and a really great learning deck yes that's the everyday tarot i think i've only used this deck a couple times too let me let me let me see that compared to that i just put it all away yeah these cards are almost okay. the same size this goes up here. i'm gonna get rid of this one this one's cool yeah this is really classic and this is really cool but when i see the other decks it really doesn't um, seem like a complete deck to me. Are you keeping this one? I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, but you're gonna let go. I'm of gonna let go. This of, I'm gonna let go of that one because, as this much as I great. as much as I like my little decks, the little kit deck has already been taken care of this by this. This is a good one. This is a really really good one. And I'm only and I I'm I've been actually suggesting this to a bunch of people for tarot with training wheels because it's like very inexpensive to purchase and you can easily just write on it. Oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really nice one for that. But see, here's the thing. If I decide to use this one for tarot with training wheels, then I can get rid of the other deck. You could, but are you going to, will you use this after you write on it? or will it, This one you, I would. This one I already know that I'm probably not going to use it. Well, maybe you should get rid of that one and keep this one and use this one for tarot with training wheels. Because this one here is, um, this one here has got sharp corners. Yeah. Why don't you let this one go? Let, let's, let, here, I'll take this one off your hands. Lisa will take that one off my hands. I may play with it a little bit. We'll see. And then I can use this one for tarot with training wheels. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Good. Look at you doing even better than you thought you were gonna do. Holy cow. Okay. I was hope I was I was I was actually hoping to do even better. So. Oh geez. Well, you're doing really well. So, I think. 
for whatever it's that that's worth. Okay. This is a great little look. It's even a little magnetic. It's got a little guidebook. This is yeah. a great little set. Yeah. No, okay. this is a great set. Yeah. Which I didn't, didn't like take I said, it out of your no, hand. No, no, no. Like I said, okay. this one here, this this one here, I kind of like it because it's really, really old fashioned. And I might regret. I think I might put this. I think I might find a purgatory spot for this one for so a little while. Before you decide. There's a lot of reasons why I like this deck, but this, kind of, this is kind of a blast from the past. This is a blast from the past. I will never. I don't think I will ever use this I think as you a deck. Just let it go. Just let it go. I don't think I will ever use this. Yeah. And as for and where kit decks are concerned, I, I like the tiny decks though. I but like you the do small have a decks. bunch of tiny little decks, and you have one of a very similar size with this one. Yeah, I think I think that scratches the same. I think yeah, this this these yeah, this two, or that. It's kind of like you would reach for these in the same sort of situation. I would actually so. use, I would actually use this deck. But this, this is, one is more just collect. This I would use. This I would strictly collect. I would I would let it go. Yeah. Okay. That price. one's gone. Okay. You're actually telling me to get rid of a deck. I'm when was the last time you told yourself to get rid of a deck? Okay. Like yesterday when I filmed that the one. Or that. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this I already rehomed the full size of this. I already rehomed the full size of this. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. This again. one I actually struggled with because there were no keywords. This is the mini Pathfinder Oracle deck. But see for oh, this, the, okay, I'm sorry. I'll put it. I will get out of your way. No, yeah, I'm not do. keeping it. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to keep it. It's. It's really cool because it's technically it's a diamond shape. You know what? You I can... only ever grab this one for its size, which is fine. Yeah. Like, okay, this guy. I'm never going to use this deck as a deck. It's too tiny for that, but at least it is a functional deck. Well, this was my fault because I kept trying to thrust I will, a mini oracle I will, deck on you so that you could have a mini oracle to go with all your mini tarot. So you well, you didn't. No, 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 no. You didn't thrust it on me. It was not a problem. No, uh, no, but no, I, I, but I just don't I'm use just them, right? Like, yeah. But no, like, okay, like I said, this is a functional deck whether or not I ever use it. This is not functional as an oracle deck for me already because I don't use oracle decks. And if I ever do try to use oracle decks, I will never use it. So it's going. It's gone. It's bye bye. Okay, and I've got got two more. Oh. Two more Oracle decks. Okay, this one here. You have to keep. Why? Thanks for playing. Because it matches your Dragon Tarot perfectly. But I don't use Oracle. But you just I have. I have I never know, but, used this. But you have. You can't. It matches your dragon. You're just going to, she's just sitting there panicking. She's not even going to show you guys the deck. I got this actually in a witch's roots, I think. Um, it matches your dragon. It's gorgeous. It's, it's an absolutely stunning. And I have never, okay, okay. But what if you change your mind and you want to read I think Oracle? Oracle is awesome. I think Oracle decks are amazing. And I think that I don't use Oracle decks. So this deck would just sit and not have, it would just sit and be ignored yeah, and be I'm neglected. It. Screw you. You can keep it. I'm keeping it. She's taking it back. A, I need a Peggy Oracle deck. This will be my Peggy Oracle deck, maybe. We'll see. Let's do a sample draw and just see if it's terrible. Let's just see. Let's just see. You can do whatever. And I'm not okay, going to. I got the Divine Feminine. That's a sign. Okay, let's just see. It likes <laughs> me better than it likes you anyways. I didn't say whether. I, I just I just found. Nope, that's fine. On Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> oh, no. It's your turn to mess with. Okay, something happened on their camera. We don't know what, but we lost some of our, our talk. User Peggy, arrow. Peggy was talking about getting rid of this deck. I was freaking out quietly. And I did a sample She's draw for myself yeah. to see. If I'm going to keep She's this taking deck, it back. Probably. She's taking it, was it back. It never mine. I gave it to you. I never had this deck. I gave it right to you. It came in a yes. subscription box. Anyways. You gave this deck to me. My sample draw. And I was just saying that, and, 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 and I was just saying, um, no, I have done, I have done readings and I have drawn, I have used Oracle cards. Time to stop playing small and claim your place within the circle of life. Yeah, there you go. So take it. I'm it's yours. It. Okay. No, we've always we've I've always done good when I've used oracle cards. I'm I just don't it. ever think to. I don't ever get around to it. I have I I I like oracle cards, but no, I'm not I'm, I'm not ever going to use them. Okay, this one. Definitely keeping. I'm keeping that one. This is this awesome. is this is. It's like not a, a tarot. We did a walk through this one too, so I'll link it. It's not a tarot deck. It's not an oracle deck. It's something. It's its own thing it's a little bit like an affirmation deck it's a bit yeah and it's got lots of swearing <laughs> and stuff i've actually I, I actually do draw cards from this you do yeah this um, is a great little deck and this is so definitely, the poor box is falling apart which means you've definitely i had to tape the dot yeah we had to tape that back so i'm keeping that one because okay. i actually do use it okay hey. you're gonna hate me are you getting rid of this i think so i don't blame you actually i don't think i'm keeping I, the i've color got version. i I've, kept the color version this is a playing card tarot hybrid called the shadow play 
So you can pull it's the a major really arc. cool deck. You can pull the Majors Arc because they have what out because they have white borders, and then you're left with a playing card deck that also has the associated tarot cards on it. You can see Lisa likes it. You have the one that's in I have white. The, I have the color version. This oh, is the color version. This Shadow is a really cool deck. I did use it a few times. You did. Um, and then I separated everything back out and put it away. I'm I okay. have other decks that I reach for more, and I don't have a reason to. It's actually not a huge deck, but. I have other decks that I like more. I don't have a huge list of reasons why I would want to collect the deck. So I'm just not going to keep it. Okay. Okay. The 80s. Was fun. It was awesome. It was same. great. It was hilarious. Didn't use it. Not once. I know. I was in the same boat. It was really Didn't fun use to it. play with. Has a lot of fun references in it. Um, we will link everything we're talking about down below. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be a project. Yeah. Anyways, this one's got to go. But there's a lot of fun references. Yeah. Except I for the, using it either, uh, You did a walkthrough, I think, on it. I did do a walkthrough. Except it's for so the walkthrough. Yeah. The walkthrough was the, the most fun ever. Except for the walkthrough. I don't think this deck has seen a single ounce of love since. No, I think you're right. Garden Dragons. I will divorce you. Lisa, I don't care if okay. it, you have to keep one Oracle deck, just one. <laughs> this is. I have never actually used this deck. We we messed around with it a little bit, and then after that, I never pulled it out again. This deck is cute. Okay, it's awesome. You know what? It's relatable. It's relatable to people that just want a nice. Let's affirming just, message. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm just. I need to remind myself. Pineapple Dragon Hospitality. What is it? Hospitality. Saying? It says hospitality. Hold on. Hold on. Be hospitable. It needs Are you to trying go. To, you just want to give it to me so you don't feel guilty for letting it go. I'm not going to feel guilty for letting it go. It's an adorable deck. It's cute. We messed around with it and got some good reading. Got some good like um, supplementary cards to go with readings, whatever. Okay, but I've never used it on my own. It's when the pineapple dragon comes your way, doors will open. The creature can be comfortable anywhere. The message for you is to look for access where you may not expect it. Open arms and welcoming smiles appear. Strangers may go out of their way to make sure all is well with you. Make sure you're ready for spontaneous hospitality. But yeah. It's also wise to make your own space company ready because sometimes you may find yeah. yourself so it's got, an impromptu host. Yeah. See, it's got. It's, a, it's actually a pretty chunky guidebook. Um, I've never, so I've never used it. I have never used it and I don't have any real reason. Again, it's, it's again, I can, I can, you know, I feel like, I feel almost like apologizing for oracles. I don't have any, you, you, you pull oracle cards all the time. I think that's awesome. I've just, for whatever reason, it's just not something that resonates with me. It's not something that I do. I, I have so to it's a, it's a waste. Gonna, this gonna, could find a this could find a good home with somebody who will appreciate I it and know. use it. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna like hold it for a little. No no no! I just want to think. Give it about, back. No. Give it back. No. Are you taking it back? I don't know. I wanna, Lisa's taking I'm things like, away I from have me to take now. I one of these two dragon decks to keep because I okay. can't let them go away. I need okay. dragon decks in the house. Uh, the giant. Uh, <laughs> that's gotta go. Oh this okay. I have this deck actually, but I purchased the easier to handle smaller version. This version is giant. It's the one that comes in a box set, but then you can also buy the smaller I, one. I when you first showed me this, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. If you don't keep, if you're not keeping it, I want it. I don't use it. It's I just can't the even. Cards, I no can't book. even shovel it. Because I have the book with my smaller one. That's fine. If I ever. It, they're bigger than CDs. Like in order to shovel, I, you literally have to like hand over hand, kind of toss the cards. I mean, you know what? I don't even care about that. Some people don't. Some people care about that. Some people don't. It's I. Cool. It's, it's a cool. It's the Gorgon's Tarot, by the way. I don't know. If it's a said. cool looking deck. I don't use it. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to start using it. It just needs a new home. I feel like you're, put ru you're running off the, um, you're, oh, you're still in frame. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one. Another round deck. Accurate A AF. Accurate AF deck. I like this deck. I'm not keeping it. There, I, I, I use this deck a lot. I was so excited. I really for this did. Deck. Yeah, I no I no no. I I like this deck. I use this deck a lot. I got great readings from this deck. It's got both positive. It's got both um, regular and reversed um, meanings all around the outside. There's a whole lot of ways that you can that you can use it. It's a great deck. And then I got other decks that had the same kind of keywords on it that were easier to shuffle, easier to you know like the smaller decks that are easier to um, stick in my pocket and walk away. I got the do you still have the box for this deck? Uh, no. What'd you do with it? I don't know. I had it in a bag. I'm not keeping it. It 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 it, it was a wonderful it was a wonderful deck and it was great for as long as the relationship lasted and now it's time to not have this deck anymore. It's just it's just been sitting for over a year with no love, no attention, no nothing. And that, unless I'm missing something, is the last deck. 
this was because I felt bad letting it go. It's I, I picked it up. I didn't end up bonding with it. It is beautiful. The Aquarian is a gorgeous classic deck, but I didn't bond with it. So it is a beautiful deck, and I've that. I've never actually used it. No. I didn't. I did not get around to it. Every time I sat down to do a reading of any kind, I would automatically grab one of the other decks. It's like a pretty good um, Rider Waite Smith clone for the most part. No, it's a good deck. There's nothing wrong with the deck. I mean, I know that you could like wax poetic about decks for hours, but no, I, I like the deck. I like, I like the deck. Um, I just am not using it. I, I'm not giving it any attention, and it just needs a new home. All right, so okay. we need a tally. How many? Let's just start stacking them up. How many are going? How many are going? Twenty-one are going. Twenty-one. Okay, put them all back in the bin. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Was that everything? Oh, 22. Twenty-two. Twenty-two because. Oh, actually, no. Twenty-four because there's all. Twenty-four because the two that you're the two that you're taking back. So twenty-four are going. So 15 are staying. I love 15 how you piled up your teeny little mini. I had to get, well, okay, okay. If we don't count that, then it's only 14. Okay. So 14. I spent decks. a whole $5 for this. Okay. By the way, yeah, this, this is cute just to have. I'll never, I will never ever even try to do anything with it, but it's adorable. Okay. So I'm keeping 15, of which I will use one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tarot training wheels. Nine for tarot training. I wouldn't have used that one on my own. That okay. would be just correct. So tarot training wheels. And which ones will you? Are you basically just collecting? Okay, collection only. This one. I wouldn't count that as collection only because you do. I do use it. Okay, I do use it occasionally. Um, but so that one. That one. That one. You don't really use these little guys, do you? No. Ah, there. one stuck to my finger. Oh, no. I got to put these away. Okay, those. <laughs> my little envelope Otero. So the little envelope of tarot are collection only. These are collection, collection only. only. These, these are, are in between. That's in between. So actually, that's not bad. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten decks that you will use. And, and four one, two, that are three, four, five little six. six if you count the if you count ones, the dollhouse ones um, that are basically just for collection. These are just you for collection. You might find yourself using I might this use, one. I haven't decided on that. Now that those extra cards are out, I will I will think about. I will probably start using that one. But until I do, let's call it collection only. That's pretty good. That's a very curated collection. And what well, what did you start with? Because how many did we? I've already forgotten. Twenty four 24. and fourteen. So you had so thirty eight. Thirty eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Counting a dollhouse deck that is completely unusable except for novelty value. And of all of these, really okay, I keep mentioning this one, and I don't know why. It's, we know it's a completely unusable novelty value micro, 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 microscopically micro deck. And you're actually down to really just two basic, like ordinary type decks that aren't like a special size. You've got your dragons, which is your ordinary deck, and, and your cute, cute and creepy. creepy, and that's it. Because these are all minis. Yep. This one has the words on it. This is specifically towers, and this is for tarot training wheels. So really, you've only got two like. Full size basic decks. Decks, yeah. Now these two and this one, so these three, these these can and will and do get some love, as long as I have a guidebook handy. Because that, they, these are the ones that these are the ones that if I'm just if do I'm you just. Do you use these with your cute and creepy guidebook? Mm, I have no idea. Like, I don't know. Keywords? I just kind of started. I kind of started with this one, so I really don't know where I am with this one yet, mm -hmm. because I'm going to be writing in my own meanings and stuff. I'm guessing that between that and your course, by the time I'm, because I'm kind of doing this separately as my own thing. Yeah. And I'm also going to do your course. 
I don't know how your course is going to work, but it's kind of the carpenter's wife dilemma. The I know. carpenter's wife has the house that needs the most repairs. Yeah, that's true. It might not be. It 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 might not. It might be too easy to go, honey, what's this again? Honey, what's this again? Honey, <laughs> what's this? No, happy. it'll be so easy to just, just bug her for the answers and not learn anything from the, her course. I don't know how that's going to work out. We'll see. I'm crossing my fingers there. So, yeah. If if this, if this between this and this things go the way I want it, I'll be able to use that as a more com as a, as a more complete guidebook, guidebook with guidebook, everything. Yeah. 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 If you add notes. I'm going to over-explain the crap out of it because okay. I can. So there's that. You can also put this deck in order and just use it like a guidebook too. Um, I don't think I would use it that way. Okay. That's not going to work because I, it's like, oh, let me just open up. Oh, let me do a reading with this deck and then open up this deck. Might as well just do the reading with the other deck. I'll just, That's true. I'll yeah. trap myself and then find reasons not to use the other stuff. And there is a little guidebook actually in the Everyday I see that. I can see it from That might actually be pretty useful. Yeah. I saw that, you know, the guidebook in that one is kind of useful. Okay. I just haven't given it a, enough love. That's why I almost uh, said, I almost said to get rid of this one because I don't really give it enough love. But if I use it for your course, that might change. Okay. So, yeah. I'm very happy. You did a good job. I'm very happy. I'm still I'm still willing to buy micro and mini decks because I think those are really cool. Um, but I think I think I'm actually done for larger decks. That's so weird to me. <laughs> it's great. I'm so happy for you. But also. I know I know what I do and don't do. I know. I know. Like, it makes okay, a lot of sense. Okay, but if a if a if a better, more comprehensive version of a deck like this comes out. But then I would, if I up, if I upgrade to the new, if I upgrade, I keep staring down. But if I upgrade to the new deck, to a new deck that has a lot in common with this and ticks off all the boxes, then I would probably just not keep this deck and find a new home for it. That's what I do essentially. When I bring in something new, it sometimes I bring in something new and it kind of fills a spot that I had for something else before, and that older thing will go. Yeah, out. but see, you also collect. So if you have a few, I mean, I know you don't collect for the sake of collecting, but if you have a deck that's not getting eh, enough love. You, you might keep it anyway. It's like, oh, I use it once in a while and I like it, so I'll keep it. And you don't really think about whether or not to get rid of it until it's reached well, a point it where you're just not using it at all. That's true, because I do also reach for decks for other purposes besides just for myself, too. Like, I'll mm -hmm. pull them for clients or whatever. I was going to say, you have clients. That does make you it have clients, so some. To give myself variety. It gives, it gives it, right? it easier. Yeah. It's, yeah, because you do because you do readings professional, it makes it easier for you to give yourself permission to keep a deck longer than. I would if it was just for even me. you. Yeah, yeah, no, I <laughs> okay, I tease Lisa and call her a hoarder all the time, but you know, it's it's it's. How do you describe it? I, I mean, essentially, like I think it's because I really enjoy having a large collection, but there is a large point at which it feels really uncomfortable for me, and I just stop yes. wanting. And well, then yeah, I, that's what. So I, will I always to, okay. I tease I you about. As I go. I tease you about hoarding because I am far more minimalist than you are. Like yeah. I'm, and like I said, once I got all these in one spot, I was like, oh my god, this is not comfortable. There's too many. Yeah. There's too many because Whereas this is not me. My point for that is much bigger. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But then again, like let's go into the closet. Let's go in. Let's go into the. Let's go into the storage room and take a look at my fabric collection. Hey, hey. Because I probably have more fab, I probably have more variety of fabric than you have decks right now. You one thousand percent have more yeah. variety of fabric than I have yeah, decks. Yeah, exactly. Not so, even a question. so no judgment, just an observation. There we go. Because I want to stay married, guys. Just, <laughs> just let's just go with that, okay? Wow. <laughs> Love you. Love you okay, too. I'm putting my decks away. Okay. <sighs> so that was it. <laughs> that was it. So down. that was your entire collection. So from down computer. to almost forty to fourteen. 13 if you're not counting the incredibly teeny tiny minuscule novelty. Where the hell did it go? I lost it again. Deck in an envelope. Yeah. So if you don't count, if you don't count the one that is 1000% not really a tarot deck, <laughs> I'm down to 14. 14, I got rid of over half my collection in one go. I feel awesome. <laughs> you're, you're awesome. You're looking at me going like, you're, you're, you're immersion. I don't understand this. Well, thanks for hanging out with me while I declutter my collection. I had a good time getting rid of stuff. Lisa's looking a little shocked and stunned. I'm a stunned. little shell shocked. It's fine. I'll be fine. We just got to sort out the dragon oracle situation. We gotta, yeah, we got to sort out the dragon oracle. She's not happy about that. Everything else is fine. <laughs> uh, I guess I have a whole bunch of decks that are looking for new homes. And that's where I'm at right now. So thanks for hanging out with me. I will see like you again video. soon. Yeah, like the if video, like, upvote, hit the bell, do all the things, give us some love. Don't forget when you subscribe and, and follow and do all that stuff, it gives the channel a boost. So 
and leave a comment. Tell me which deck you like the best. Maybe if you disagree with my choices, let me know. If you agree with my choices, let me know. I would love to have the conversation on that. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye.